see, do we actually have, is this actually running right now? I don't think my stream is currently running, but let me double check. Yada yada, it is online again, hooray! <sighs> Tonight's just a night of technical difficulties. Yeah. But it's okay, because I've been at the same boss the entire night. It's true. If there's ever a time that you could have technical difficulties, it would be it, now. Yeah. I almost want to play DDR so I can stomp all over the damn arrows and be like, oh, take it. Take it, arrows. <laughs> take it. Big get for sucking. Stupid arrows. Well, it's like suddenly DDR starts giving you arrows that point uh, in your direction. Oh, I tried a uh, DDR that had. All diagonals. Like it, the actual key, the actual pads were diagonals. My brain couldn't handle it. God, I hate these arrows! Okay, that was a little... Describe that. The way, what they did with the um, like it, it felt too it felt too easy. F was kind of that a couple times. It's like this feels like it's either or do you mean for slow arrows? Uh, it was yellow arrows. Holy ever loving shit. I see, you, uh, I see you've gotten to the final half of the arrows. That's the part that spam have you just go in circles on. Uh. Why, well, hello, Metaton. Don't worry, we're getting to yours as well. What? <laughs> in my channel. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Although I, I do adore Metaton, you know. Metaton is kind of awesome. But we will kill him. With much prejudice. I don't know, there seems to be a lot of in, uh, in a, there's a lot of indiscriminate killing going on right now. Yeah. Oh, uh. Well, besides that. We have our we are we we are our own list of casualties. I mean, to be fair, I, I think 
two of us now have two more kind of like two Oh, I can guarantee that. When I start getting up to my World of Warcraft number of deaths, then we have a problem. Oh, we're uh, coming. I haven't died 5,000 times yet. Give Undyne a chance. True. Yeah, the set of arrows where they're actually paired with uh, a yellow in the opposite direction made me sit there and go, shouldn't that have been earlier in this? Just getting back to that point is, um, yeah. I think I got it. No way, really? Like you killed it? Like, yeah, I'm going through the death speech. Oh. oh. Damn. Damn. Good job. Let me show the screen so I don't see that. Yeah, don't. Damn, Damn. good job. I think that has more to do with the fact that I'm gonna attribute that to my configuration files going wonky. Oh, mm. oh yeah, I I feel like. But you didn't actually, didn't actually edit, edit the config, config files, files yourself, did you? No, that was all because they started they started effing up, but I don't know what the numbers actually mean, so I don't know 
I wouldn't even know what to change. Well, then it's still legit. As long as you didn't change it yourself and see, it's totally legit. So yeah, I'm totally going with... Uh, yeah, it changed all the numbers back now that I, I got through the boss fight. So, huh. I, I have no freaking Weird. idea. And, uh... That, bo that boss fight... Well, let's see if we can both get past it tonight. I'm thinking probably not. And I shall continue to just be a jerk right now. Because I can. You'll continue to what right now? Be a jerk. No. no. Be a jerk how so? Just murdering everything? No. Not quite. Okay. Well, whatever it is, just don't ruin it for me yet. I won't. I'll get there. Because yeah, just being a, being a complete another jerk. I don't even know. I I think there is a, a a limit on this, but I don't remember. You think there is a what? I'm sorry, I was distracted by arrows. This is all right. It's like I can only play if the if uh, if I have if I have arrows. Ooh, this is going to take a while. I wonder if all the creatures. Sam is suggesting that you grind in the uh, conveyor yeah, belt zone. zone. Okay, the that's kind of what I was uh, I was thinking about right now. It's like where do I go to continue to murder these poor things? This, I think, is the most that I've gotten her down so far. So close. So close. Down to like a quarter of health or less. Yeah, it's when you get to that point and then you end up dying that you sit there and be like, Yeah. You know, you're, you're wondering if it's right about that time you need to nerd rage? Yeah. Uh, rage quit. Take me a couple times, but I will do it. <laughs> like, I figure I was probably like one away from having killed her. Oh yeah, he's right, because you can just walk backwards on the conveyor belt. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, actually. Yeah, although, and I'm still forever uh, really disturbed by the fact that the character then goes smiley faces when it goes into combat. <laughs> yeah. Like, hurry, I'm gonna kill you! It's like, oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Like, oh good, I get to kill someone else now! Like, you creepy little bastards. Yeah, pretty much. 
it's like I, I, when I, it's it kind of it really makes this game seem completely different doing it in this mode from when um, you play it in pacifist mode. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying you're gonna be sitting there for like an hour. Oh, whatever. I'm not trying to, you know. Yeah, after we just spent like two hours just grinding and dying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm totally okay with having a change of scenery. Yeah, but now I don't feel so weird causing myself some kind of freaking seizure from standing against the wall holding the up and down button. <laughs> and if you think about it, this would be the asshole thing that your character would do. I'm just gonna walk backwards on this uh, on this uh, uh, moving platform because I can. Complete with trails of monster guts under your feet. <laughs> Well, no, the oh, conveyor the belt, belt takes the donk to get the way. I don't know, if you smear them in pretty good. <laughs> Actually, like, if you follow the lore of Undertale, monsters don't need that. Because they turn into dust. That's fair. So their ashes are being spread through the hot yeah. land. Yes, their ashes are going through the hot land. This is true. But at least yeah. their guts are not smeared everywhere, making a mess. No, but it's, it looks like nobody's cleaned up around here in a while. <laughs> Be a real jerk and run around with a feather duster. Keep disrespecting all their corpses. So close. Very, very close. Mm. Oh, come on! Let's die already! Mode, it's an hour of grinding. Oh god. Yeah, yeah but I, I can't. I, seizure mode drives me crazy. Yep. Very, very crazy. Got so close. Although, maybe it's what I needed to really get me in the mindset for playing it genocide mode. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell a friend of mine that we need to go to Dave and Buster so I can just stomp all over the DDR machine. <laughs> Everybody, I'll probably be escorted out for screaming, screaming obscenities at the arrows. <laughs> I'm not expecting this to be a run that I'll actually win on. Which is sad because you were doing completely better than I was. But if you did better at the end, you beat it first. Good job. Well, I wouldn't call it better, but. Especially since. Well, my you beat it. Well, my config files went all sorts of nuts while the game was running, so. Yeah, but again, I think that's normal. Oh, maybe. It went all sorts of crazy, and then went back to normal right after the fight. 
Again, I really feel like that's normal. What, the game takes pity on me because I was dying all the time? It shouldn't! It's genocide mode! I am being the biggest asshole on the planet! You don't feel <laughs> bad for me! Um, Sam is put me something in uh, my channel. Oh. Uh, that I apparently can't watch yet. Because I haven't beaten on that night. But apparently it's supposed to make you feel better. Oh god. Although he put the word better in all caps, so that makes me really question his motives. So I suppose watch it if you want to have a bad time. Oh. So, okay, that is actually rather amusing. Um, although I've already taken out a few of those so far. Um, you remember some of the monsters are actually in Hotlands, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like Cassandra like Plane. Plane. I love Cassandra Plane. Plane. Yeah. That one, the death is a little comical. Oh no, not just the thunder plane. Like, I might actually feel guilty for that. I'm probably gonna feel guilty for that. You probably will. Thunder plane is so amazing. I feel a little bad about the, the uh, about the text that, the text uh, speech that she has for death, but... You have a text to speech? The text, the, 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 yeah, the thing it says in text because there is no speech. Oh, oh, okay. I speak good English. I'm like, wait a minute, is that a text to speech for her? Like, really? What voice? Oh. All in 8 bit. Which can be done. <laughs> yeah, it can be. It can be. I used to play, uh, I used to play games on a television that actually had a voice simulator thingy for it for parts of the game. It was it was awful 8-bit voice, voice acting that you expect, but it was a thing. I just hope I don't have to actually go through the kill counter. I mean, as, uh, that I have to actually find a uh, mini boss before I go through the counter in this land. Because I'm content with being that jerk on the uh, on the moving platform. You mean you don't want to have to find the kill counter before you murder everyone? Well, it's more that I want to make sure that I'm not I don't miss a a, a, a mini boss. Because genocide run can be can be twitchy. Well, I mean, you are murdering literally the everyone. Yeah, I am. <coughs> All the things. With ballet shoes. With ballet shoes that I tap on the- uh, I tap on their face. In the beat of the music. Yeah. You know, I think Frisk has mommy issues. Oh. Well, I mean, look at what she did to Goat Mama. That's fair, but it didn't. It doesn't stop with uh, with, with Goat Mama. It's true, but Goat Mama is really what I feel like. Like I, I half ex although I, I, I half expected that. Um, uh, that for for the Wismers or whatever the shit they are, that you just like yank their wings off before they died. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you kind of have to Oh. I mean, what kind of suggestion would you have? This section is like uh, exercise routines for socio for uh, psychopaths. <laughs> okay, I will, uh, Akago. Okay. The burnt hand. Okay. 
Alright, I will definitely uh, keep that in mind. I wonder why. If it makes for more gut wrenching feels, yeah. So that way, totally. I that, that, so I regret doing this run. I'm all for it because I I'm a bad person and I should feel bad. I kind of regret doing it a little bit, but not really anymore. Kind of been enough time since last time we were doing this that kind of been a little bit. So I need some uh, some bad feels again. Yeah. Yeah, well, when you build up all that rage from Undyne Arrows... Yeah, yeah, and it feels not quite as bad. And actually, the arrows isn't really what bothers me. Really, the rage that I get is from the spears. See, yeah, it, it's all about the arrows for me, especially those yellow arrows. Those arrows can go, po go be pointed right up her ass. You know, she might like that. That's fair. I mean, she does fancy herself a warrior, and she does like watching those <coughs> documentaries. That 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 is uh, abundantly fair. I mean, maybe the documentary that she likes is the one that have tentacles. Yeah, they never really go into the the what those documentaries are all about. Well, they do a little bit. They say that there's robots and swords and guns and stuff. But they don't say that there's not tentacles. That's true. I am now picturing Alphys watching Hentai, and I am very much amused. Oh. Oh my, yeah. I am so amused that I'm actually, uh, missing. And, uh, Akago, I completely, I completely underst understand exactly what you're getting at with that, too. It's so true. <laughs> like, this is, like, how, how difficult a lot of 8-bit games were back when I was younger. Just the whole, you sneeze and you are gonna fucking die. There's gonna be some, like, <laughs> art on the internet of Elphys buzzing hentai. There has to be. Oh, uh, that wouldn't shock me in the least bit. Or at least... Sam is now upset, upset with me. <laughs> <laughs> His mind is now tainted. <laughs> it's either that or I want to see a picture of it looks like uh, Undyne looking kind of quizzically at Alphys as she's hiding La Blue Girl behind her back. She's hiding who behind her back? Uh, have you ever heard of La Blue Girl? No. Oh, oh then never mind then. Erase that from the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Read about the fame that's in my chat. Oh god. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> You're determined. I'm, I'm far more amused now. No. And like, I'm sorry. I, I can't stop thinking of like undone sitting together on on couch. In the lab, watching hentai on TV. Yeah, that would be pretty hilarious, and um, <laughs> yeah, it really would be, because I imagine uh, Aunt Dine would seem like she's actually kind of getting into it, and Alphys is like, "I'm into it, but I feel so bad that I'm into this." <laughs> and uh, Akago, by all means, go ahead, do it, do, do it up. I totally. Uh, understand exactly what you mean by that too. It's like you really want to turn around and kind of get into what you're doing because you can only be depressed about what you're doing for so long. And you're in, and yeah, the the what I really enjoy about this game is how meta it really gets. Uh, it yeah, really is. Awesome. 
it's pretty awesome. It's thought provoking, and the music, the music is absolutely amazing. Uh, I, I feel like it makes it, uh, it, the music is definitely what makes the game for me, because it just suits pretty much every fight in the atmosphere that you are expecting, or you should expect from the scene, in the music. Mm-hmm. I think he did, like, a wonderful job with the game overall. Oh yeah, I mean, the, the, the concept and the, the, the style, like, the whole dodging thing for your kind of, like, defense. That's really cool. That's very unique. I like it. Yeah, and just like, like even putting like mechanics aside, the way that he set up and told the story, where like you really feel bad, you know, when you kill Toriel, you know, like it messes with what you're expecting on a lot of games. Um, someone brought up recently that when you play most of these kinds of games and you come across that first fight. You know, the one that you need to do to prove that you can go out into the world. You don't kill whoever is testing you. You know, they go down on the end, they're like, Oh, hey, I've learned you're much stronger than you appear. You know, blah, blah, blah. You know, feel free to go. No, you kill Toriel. Right. And it's like, yeah, there's no, it's not a, like, you know, rite of passage or anything like that. It's like, you are, I just freaking murder her. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it, and I also like that they don't make the creatures and everybody that you deal with faceless right like when you fight most monsters and stuff like that in a lot of other rpgs they're just kind of they're they're buckets of xp just waiting for you same thing with a lot of the bosses it's like rah ha i'm big bad evil guy okay cool well you kill them hooray in, in right. this you actually you know there's, there's more to it than that they give them a face they give them personalities and feelings and it's it's done so well make a big deal about anyone dying so you're like oh you know whatever they'll just respawn and right. then you kill Toriel and you're like oh no they don't respawn you know what the worst remind you know what the worst They're reminder the worst reminder of that is the fact that you still have her cell phone the fact that you still what have her cell phone oh I didn't even think of that you're right and you call it and and it says and no and, one came and no one picked that up no, not just not just a no one face. I was like, no one, and no one came. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody came. And yeah, that's another that's another good point uh, that Akago brings up is that she, you don't, she doesn't get that whole low health like maybe you expect for her to. Surrender right, or something she gets like that, and then she just dies. Yeah, it's like, like you don't suddenly even... out of nowhere, and you're like, what? She doesn't, you know, she there's no chance to possibly spare her or anything like that, really. Well, I mean, yeah, not when you get to that yeah. point. No, it's just there's a there's a lot of shock factor that plays in very well with this, and I think it tells an amazing story. And yeah, since I'm running around just trying to like work on the kill counter this Sorry, is kind guys, of... I, I had to kill myself that time there was no way I was gonna get it at the rate I was going I actually have to like do better from the beginning yeah this is a good time to kind of talk about the meta stuff since I'm still just trying to look for creatures to kill well it's a good time for you it's a terrible time for me I know I'm sorry <laughs> like I just threw that last fight because like I'm way too distracted to do this right now so give me a moment let's see if I can Kill and die this time. Of course, now my wrist is cramping. And I actually did not uh, kill her and then reset to bring her back. Alright, I'm gonna go and heal up again because I can. What better healing items? I didn't think no, there no, was no. I just no, no, no. I, because I'm still. Oh, in my, in my chat. Um. 
I believe there's something that actually gives you more speed from the turtle, as well as I believe the protection items he offers make you invulnerable a, a little longer. Oh, oh, uh, Akago, you're talking about uh, Toriel. Yes, I started off trying to do a uh, pacifist run, and I feel like everybody has done this. I was just trying to weaken her because I figured maybe that's how I can get it to a point that I that you know I could just spare her and be done with it and it accidentally killed her and I felt like such a monster because that wasn't my intention that I did restart it so that way I could do it, do it right and then you know Flowey comes out and it's like oh you and I are not going to be very good friends are we well the fact that like Flowey came out and uh and was like, oh, I see what you did there. It killed her, but then you rewound time. Like, when that happened, like, oh my god. Yeah. Because it definitely keeps track of that stuff. It, it, like, everything. Like, the first time ever fighting Asgore, and I, and I died a couple times and came back, and it's like, I talked to him, it's like, you've killed me three times. And he just nods. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, he just nods because you actually tell him, like, when you do the talking to him after he's killed you, you tell him how many times he's killed you, and he just sadly nods at you. Oh, right, I forgot that. Yep. And, and yeah, Akago is total paranoia fuel. How absurd is that? Yeah. Crazy. Well, at this point, oh, I only well, have twelve. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying. My big file just got really screwed and then straightened itself out. Yeah, I don't really have much more health than I thought I had. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my big file back. Yeah, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do with the big file. I could probably figure it out. I really yeah. don't want to see that. No, and the thing is, it's like, I, I don't have time to try to figure out what everything is while I'm trying to play the game. Yeah, you know, I feel like I want to play the game right at least once. And then, you know, after I've beaten the target ending, then maybe I'll go back and poke around with it just for fun. Just for fun, but yeah. I really feel like I want to get all of my normal gameplay out beforehand. Yeah, I figured out which file that it ultimately decided to start um, updating and got rid of the other ones. I don't think it actually destroyed anything. Um, because there's a different type of config file there too that had all the other other um, things on it, so. This was it, it was clearly the, the character stats with the way the numbers were on it. I'm getting distracted again. No! I really need to stop doing that. Like, I've had to use more than my average amount of food items in this fight. I'm get distracting myself with the fact that there's uh, little safeguards on this, these conveyor belts. There's safeguards on the conveyor belts? Yeah, if you happen to go all the way off to one of the sides, this yeah. little piece of, like, invisible glass becomes, uh, uh, manifests and keeps you from falling off. Uh-huh. It's weird. Do, do, do. 
kind of wish there was some conveyor belts to kind of wet in a circle so I could go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't get off the conveyor belt for a moment. Wow, that was terrible of me. I will be right back, I promise. Hey. Right. Okay, everyone, well, she's gone. Maybe I'll be able to focus enough to actually beat Undyne. There we go. Sorry about that. Apparently, I'm gonna have to do something like a medical procedure where it's like, no eating or drinking 12 hours before you decide to stream. <laughs> That have turned into a series of puns. Oh dear. Oh god.
Yeah, you really do have a, uh, a, a pair of, uh, wordly gentlemen in your, uh, <laughs> in your yeah. chat. Yeah, I do. It's kind of funny. Stab you in the face. Oh. I think last I checked, I was at like fourteen, like seventeen to fourteen left or something like that. Oh my god. Come on, monsters. It can't be that bad. I'm just gonna hit you in the face with a, with a ballet shoe until your face caves in. We I have like Undertale a... theme done the better. Just uh, <laughs> for reference of my chat. Other puns are okay, but Undertale puns are definitely better. Why are you trying to goat them on? Because I am used by puns. <laughs> like, legit, I do like them. Oh, I do too. Kind of spearheaded the topic right there. Oh. <laughs> 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 See what happens when I get distracted by my chat. You died again. I almost over there, and I die. Almost. Not quite dying yet, but I did take quite a lot of hits that happened. I, lo I love this whole dual chat thing. It's pretty awesome. It is kind of neat. You mean how we both have that going? Uh-huh. One getting very, uh, one getting very phil uh, philosophical, and the other one getting very, uh, very funny. Yeah. You cannot give up just yet. Don't you tell me how to live my life. <laughs> if I want to give up, I can give up. But I don't want to yet. Can I give down? How about give out? Oh my. Oh, oh wait, right, 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 right. <laughs> not put out. My bad. No, not, not put out. <laughs> I just realized that these, uh, these vent pipes almost look like lightsabers. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not ignoring, ignoring it well enough. Damn it. Damn it.
<laughs> oh, that one's a good one. <laughs> oh. Uh, Akago, because uh, as I have, as the text suggests on the stream that I the other there's another channel that we are both playing Undertale, uh, Genocide Run at the same time. Uh, it's Kayla Fox. Um, we're also using a program so that way we can see each other's chat rooms so we can discuss the game together and having two different viewpoints. Um, I know that she's at a different point that, than I'm at, but we're still kind of going back and forth discussing uh, the game together and with anybody who's in the chat channel with us. Uh, and there's a, there's a pair okay. of... There's, there, there's a pair of uh, uh, others that um, in Kayla Fox's channel that are coming up with pro with a whole lot of different puns and it's rather amusing. It really is. Wow, oh, I think I was hit like almost every sphere. But... Go, I can go ahead and move on to the core. I mean, there's only so many conveyor belts that I can get covered in monster dust. So many conveyor belts, so many, so little time. Right? I mean, really, I gotta, I gotta, does anybody think about all the work I have to put into this genocide? I mean, really. I know, right? We have so many monsters you have to kill. And yes, yes, there is a lot more bling to be had. Hey, Lumina? Yes? Spaghetti. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that we have an inside joke with that, and it's still funny for this game. <laughs> I know, right? First time, you know, when under when a uh, monster comes up, things get spam. It's because like you're not to get past the dialogue and the spamming keys. Oh, interesting. With the lasers being off, you can still turn them back on again if you really want to. <laughs> I imagine since, like, Alphys offers to turn them off for you, they probably hurt monsters too, so you might as well just turn them back on. That's true. Oh. Oh. Damn is... Yeah. Oh. No. No. I'm just running into the... to the next pair of people. And I feel bad. Yikes. I'm like paying attention to the chat and it's like, oh look. Yeah, you're right. If I'm going to be a murderer, I may as well be a rich one. You're absolutely right. I will have a diamond encrusted bandage instead. So, at, at the creatures that I... The two individuals that I just dispatched, I would have liked to have a little more dialogue from them. No, no. I'm just going to let this one go. I'll just do it again in a moment.
<laughs> so, hmm. this looks like we're going to have another boss fight fairly soon. Oh, yeah, the, oh, yeah, two, the guards. two guards. Yeah. It's not the one I'm referring to. Run, they certainly uh, just kind of expect you to get to the uh, killing part. Apparently, you really truly have like no sense of humor by this point. I'm surprised my chat hasn't made a comment yet about how I'm executing everyone in the underground. I remember how much this the, the, this this next fight was um, a pain in the ass on on, pa on pacifist. So this one, Muffet. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you're there already. Well, the rest of it's not like they they they, they uh, take a lot of the puzzles out. So I said sure. they hate they hate fun. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. right. All, All of the puzzles are out. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. Kind of forgot that Chloe did that. And that it and wasn't, wasn't just, just the same thing with the Paris levels. Oh. Oh my. Wow. Oh. Wow, I feel like an asshole from that. Yeah, uh, Akago, that's a that's a that's a very good point. It's very true. Okay, okay, now, now chat, chat is making puns about how they've made too many puns. Oh dear. Like punception over here. <laughs>
So, I've noticed something in Fighting Monster Kit. Kind of wondering if it applies to other monsters as well. But I can't tell enough. Like when I'm fighting Undyne. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on. But like, when I do an attack, something different appears at the top of the, the bar when you actually press the attack button. Like when it turns red and like gets bigger, something is across the top of that red bar. Ah. Huh. It looks like writing or something. Huh. But I can't tell what it is. Back to the HP, gotta find more people to murder. Kid. Let's turn around. I'm gonna step in the back. They're terrible and making me die. Like, seriously, you guys are terrible and making me die. <laughs> Need to 
to go back and go get stuff that helps with murder. Murder, murder, give me my murder, murder, get to my murder. Bonus points if you can name that song. Or at least what it's on. I feel like I should know. Well, I'll fuck you with it now. Did I pass you an elevator? Yeah, I, I'm actually heading back over to Hotland for more in, uh, in, for more stuff. And yes, that is the quality of puns that uh, that they were, were talking about, Chicago. If you ever wanted to use the the program chatty, you could be in both channels at the same time and partake. <laughs> True. I mean, you could also just open up the two streams in two different browser windows. It's true. Really, what Teddy allows us to do is um, not have the video stream. Or I suppose you could also pause the video stream. It's very true. All of these are very true things. That is more useful for well people are actually shooting. Oh yeah, it's definitely useful for that. so much better. Like, like random theme puns, not like egg theme puns. Egg theme puns are kind of bad. But it's true. You need to round out your repertoire a bit. Wow. Like yeah, I'm on this fight. Wow. Wow. Totally all about making people just walk on eggshells around you now, huh? Oh, totally. Waiting for the game to take pity on me like you claim it took on you. Get out, spam. <laughs> How bad was it? I like guess I'll CC you later. Good luck with this CC fight. Oh. 
Oh my. Just get out. He'll just see you later. Mm. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing terrible with run again. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Like, kill me, I can that take it! Just take it! Ugh, I keep taking it inside of yours. I don't understand why I keep thinking it's supposed to be in the middle for this. With all the steam vents and hopping around and crap, I always keep thinking I have to go to the middle section and it's, that's not correct. Focus this time. Yeah. The slow ones are pretty obnoxious. It's the yellow ones that make you want to kick them. I'm fine with the yellow ones. I have no problem with the yellow ones. It's kind of like I already I already suspect uh, one of the one of the fights only because of a lot of the dialogue that went on in Passengers Run. What fight? No, uh, for basically that would be the final boss. No, or at least the hardest boss in the Monster yeah. Just simply because of conversations you actually have with that particular character outside of fighting. Monster kid. Pull in monster kid. He's just gonna go hulk on me and just throw me around <laughs> like a rag doll. It's true. It's true. Close. Come on, I'm um, dying. Okay, her brave for creepy music. Ah, so close. <sighs> he 
Sam is now IMing me on Hangouts with more puns. Of course he is. Of course he is. Because why wouldn't he? Yes, it is. See, I told you you'd be very likely to be me. I'm probably gonna get st stuck on the next, the next boss. Oh, wow. Okay, I really like this form. really do just like to kind of kick you in the feels quite a bit, especially after having done the pacifist mode, they just, oh yeah, kicks in the feels. Well, I'm glad you're sticking around. Even if, you know, you did unfortunately go to egg puns. Crap. Well, here's my last healing item. As I fly into not one, but two spears. In the easiest mode. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a glass of water real quick, and uh, then I'll continue. Okay, I'm getting kicked to the feels really hard right now. Back. 
10 Termination. Temi, Temi Village empty is weird. Yeah. Sounds like you're getting ready to have a bad time. Yeah, I am. to the box to change things out. Dying. Just die. Oh. She doesn't wanna. She really doesn't wanna. I didn't even realize that was that low on health. Getting up to one heck of a part of the story. Mm. Well, don't ruin it. I won't. That's my only request. Like, pretty much the only thing that I knew about the, uh, Genocide Run was that you fight fans. Mm hmm. Which was definitely hinted to at some of the stuff that happens during Pacifist. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So, like, I wasn't oh, yeah. surprised at all. And, oh, but all of the, this, this story time is... 
so sad. Round through. Next one, maybe. Oh, you're on the now, aren't you? There's the. There's a bunch of dialogue that happens before that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm working on it. I keep getting close, but not quite there. Oof. Wow, this one just turns around and get. Oh, wow, that's a middle. Th that's some break of the fourth wall right there. That's Undertale. That's a blatant middle finger, actually, too. There's other fourth wall breaky stuff. Oh, there is, but this one is is very much a poke at um, streaming. <laughs> really? Yup. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, they're basically calling out anybody watching a stream at this point. <laughs> True story. That's pretty, pretty funny. funny. I would love to get the fans tonight, but it is probably not going to happen realistically. Uh, I definitely recommend not not watching this until after you, you you've gotten through. That's the plan. Like, I really don't want any more spoilers from where I am to the end, because, again, the only thing that I know is the Oh my. Um... Uh... Wow. Wow. Is, uh, this this entire scene is really, really, really uncomfortable, but pretty well written at the same time. <laughs> if it's making you feel uncomfortable, Undertale probably is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, hell yes. Finally getting it, pal. You're finally understanding. All right. All right. See you later, Nipah. Have, Have a very, very good, good night. night. I hope I you enjoyed the stream. I will be continuing at a later date if uh, not tonight, which I can almost guarantee I'll not finish tonight. So. <laughs> uh. 
this Lumina Dragon stream is still going and getting to an incredibly uh, uh, uncomfortable part. Now the discomfort is now back to the, back to the, uh, the dialogue in the game. I think, I think I'm going to rename um, the stream when it gets archived to something like three hours of fighting a fish. Yeah, making you three hours of sushi chef. <sighs> so I oh I told Peter I was actually gonna wait at this part, but you okay. know what? Yeah. But you know what I'll do? I'm going to go through what? this, but I'm not going to save, and I will probably just do it again to make sure that we're in the same thing. Uh, but Peter really wanted to see your reaction. It's true. I feel like That's I... That's really what he wanted. He really wanted your reaction. It's true. And how long have I been on this? Oh, God. It's like one in the morning. <laughs> go figure. I know. Uh, okay. Uh, that's why I'm like not even sure if I'm gonna get past this tonight. Like at this point, my goal is just to defeat Undyne tonight, but I don't even know if that's gonna happen. So, I feel like since this boss is likely gonna take up a lot of a lot of my time, I should go ahead and call the stream now. Also, because it'll give you time to catch up. Um. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed the the uh, the company in both chat channels, and everybody in the channel already know who's the next who th the next boss is going to be. Um, so we will pick up at this boss because I'm I guarantee it's going to take me a while. Okay. So, so everybody. Are you going to uh, stay chatting with me and just stop on the channel for now and stop streaming for now? Do you have to stay on with me or not? Oh, I can continue to chit chat, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream right now. Thanks, everybody. I, for those that have subscribed to, either me or uh, Kayla Fox. Yes, and I also am putting things up on YouTube. Um, my YouTube is also the same name as my channel name, which is Limited Dragon. So, if you do happen to miss, uh. If you do happen to miss what I'm going to be screaming, uh, screaming, I probably will be, but when I'm streaming my reaction to this next scene, you will totally be able to see it on YouTube. So have a good night, guys. <laughs>